Hey, if you're new to DaVinci Resolve and you're trying to figure out how to fade in and fade out uh, different assets on your timeline without getting into keyframes, super easy, this is how you do it. Uh, normally on a lot of editing programs you use a tool similar to the Inspector tab here in DaVinci to add keyframes uh, to your assets to manipulate them and to to make those kind of changes, but in DaVinci Resolve, all you really have to do uh, for simple fade in, fade out uh, techniques is to put your your mouse cursor over top of the asset, and this works on all kinds of assets, whether titles, um, transitions, images, uh, music, all of that stuff works the same way. You put your mouse cursor over top, as I said, these little white um, lines, or sorry, little boxes, tab thingies pop up and you just put your mouse over top of it and you click and you drag and you can see the length of the transition. So just sliding that in like that on my um, video footage now creates a nice uh, fade in and it's easy to adjust just by clicking on it and dragging it around to decide on how much fade I want. So that's really easy. Then I can go to this end, hover over top of the tab again, and then I can create a fade out. Or Yeah, sorry, a fade out. There we go. Fades out. Uh, if I want to do that on a title, same thing. Just click, drag that in. Dra oh, that's shortening it. Drag that clip in like that. That creates a fade, so the title fades on, fades in nicely, and then there it fades out. Here's an example. I, I pulled this up. I added this on. I got this image that I want superimposed over my video file. Just pops right on, but if I want that to sort of fade in and fade out, same thing. There it is. Now it's fading. And you can do the same thing with your music. Instead of using uh, key keyframes, you can just put in the fade. The music will fade in. That's how easy it is in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, I hope that was useful. Please subscribe and um, expect more content in the future. Take care.